This is one of those surreal moments. 24 hours ago, I was on an airplane, and now it's temperate rainforest, it's cliffs that you can walk through, it's trees going up to the ocean. It's backpacking with two other creative women who I admire, but I have never met before. It's one of those moments that you want to capture and hold forever, but it's very fleeting. I've always been really interested in other people and the way other people see the world. That was a strange creature. I started She Explores because I didn't see any other online communities where women could share their artwork inspired by the outdoors. As a photographer and a podcaster, I'm documenting this journey for She Explores where I'm joined by Megan McDuffie. It looks really, really good. The woman behind the camp food blog fresh off the grid, and Heidi Annalise, a tiny landscape painter. Should we go look out here? Definitely gives you that edge of civilization feeling. Campsite chosen. Yeah. Traveling, going from campsite to campsite, I think that helped to inspire your cooking. I mean, I love food. When I'm out backpacking, it's 90% of what I'm thinking about. The red ones are lobster mushrooms, which you should Google those because they're really, really cool looking. I brought along some local smoked salmon. I'm eating a piece. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that was really good. We got up this morning and almost immediately started scaling the headland. What's that floating out there? Could be otters. Or we've just spent the last couple minutes staring at a blob of seaweed. Feels a little like we're on a different planet. The hiking we've been doing has been pretty strenuous. It's a bigger drop off than I was expecting. <laughs> Both the landscape and the weather on this trip have been all over the map. It's intermittently foggy, sunny, raining, cold, warm. You really feel like you're in the elements. It's like walking on a slug. There's something about struggling through a rainstorm or struggling through the underbrush that opens up a lot of space to cultivate curiosities and creativity. Whoa. Painting is always easier when you're at a comfortable 67 degrees in your well-lit studio, but when you're trying to just roll with the punches outside and not allow yourself the time to second guess. I always feel like I become a slightly better painter for it. It doesn't really look like something you could hike on from this angle. It doesn't. I'm kind of impressed with us right now. Yeah. <laughs> In the past few days, I've been playing with audio in a way that I hadn't been before. I was inspired by hearing crabs within the mussels on the beach. I was inspired by the eagles that were in the distance and hearing them. There is something about being out in an unfamiliar environment that just inherently breeds openness and it's such a good catalyst for community and connection. It's really helpful for all of us to remember that we're not alone in it, even if we do most of our work alone. Nerding out a little bit. I think it's so cool that three people can be looking out at the same viewpoint and we all see something entirely different which leads to us creating something entirely different.
be a photograph, a painting, a meal. We all have a unique way of seeing the world.